Here's the answer to worksheet two, and this is question number one. So we've been given an article here about earthquakes and how are buildings safe to occupy. So um, we've got some general information here, um, but then they've given us some particular questions and a bunch of tables. So I'm going to come back to that in a moment. What I want to do first of all is have a look at the question itself. So we've been told that the categories are combined, so confident is our very confident or confident, um, and not confident means they're not confident or not at all. So they've combined some of the categories. So they've combined this confident and very confident and not confident and not at all confident. They've combined those together, which we'll bear in mind when we do the answers. So the, we want to test this claim that two thirds of New Zealanders were confident that commercial buildings met the building code and were safe to occupy. And they said referred to table A. So I've copied in here table A. So we've got results there for 490. So the first thing I notice is that's my sample size is 490. Okay, N1. Then we have been told uh, the claim is that two thirds were confident that the commercial buildings. So we're just interested in the commercial buildings. Um, and it's talking about from New Zealanders, so it's talking about that total. So that means we're referring to that 65%. All right, so that's the one that we are interested in is the 65%. And we want to test this claim. All right, so let's have a look at our diagram. We need to decide which category we're in. So we know we've only got a single sample size, so it must be one of the first two. Um, and I'm only interested in the commercial buildings for all New Zealanders, so I'm only interested in that one value of 65%. So that means I'm dealing with this scenario, the no comparison. So my margin of error, that's my first step, <clears throat> is this formula, 1 over square root of N1. So that's the first thing that I am going to do. So I know that N1 is 490, and my margin of error is 1 over the square root of 490. I'm going to type that into the calculator, and that will give me an answer of 0 0.0452, which I then multiply by 100 to get a value of 4.52%. So that's my margin of error. Okay, back to the flow chart. The next step is I want to calculate the confidence interval and interpret it. So I've got my formula there, the percentage plus or minus the margin of error. So that's my next step. So my confidence interval is the percentage plus or minus my margin of error. So in this case, if I go back to the data, our percentage was 65%. So we're going to say 65% plus or minus that margin of error of 4.52%. And now I'm going to make me a confidence interval. So I'm going to do the minus one first, 65 take away 4.52, and then 65 plus 4.52. And that will give me a confidence interval of 60.48% and 69.52%. So now what we've found is we've got our confidence interval, if I draw our number line, we've got our confidence interval here going from 60.48% through to 69.52%. So there is our confidence interval. And remember that confidence interval is estimating for from a sample what we think the population percentage is likely to be. So we're saying we think that the population percentage is somewhere between 60.48 and 69.52. So we now want to interpret this. So I'm going to go back to the wording of the questions. And the question said two thirds of New Zealanders were confident that commercial buildings met the building code and were safe to occupy. So I'm going to interpret this and say um, between 60.48% and 69.52% of New Zealanders 
um, feel that, um, and what was it? it, was the commercial building, commercial buildings um, met the code and were safe to occupy. Okay, so that's interpreting the confidence interval. Now we want to look at the claims. The claim was about two-thirds um, of those New Zealanders. So I'm going to look at my confidence interval and think, where is two-thirds? Well, two-thirds as a, as a percentage is 66.67%. So I need to think, well, where is that on my number line? And so that is going to be around about here. Okay, so our 66.7% is within the confidence interval. Therefore, I agree with the claim. All right, so that's going to be my last sentence. Um, because two-thirds is inside the confidence interval, I agree with the claim. And there's our answer.